I mean, like when I think about what my mother had to overcome and the struggles that she went through, it it makes it seem so pitiful when I complain about things in life. From the first time I saw ya. So, I don't know where this road goes, but I mean, got the board, got the GoPro. Let's do it. Oh, Mountain Dew. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. I mean, I guess now is a good time to reflect back on last year. I mean, I think it's really easy for us, I mean, myself completely included, to forget how fortunate in the world, the day and age that we live in, where pretty much we can do almost anything. We have for the most part, we have food, we have shelter. Um, it may not be the best situation or most ideal, but like in comparison in hell of like 20, 40, 60, 100 years ago, like we're living luxurious. Uh, and it's so easy to see like the next thing that's coming up or see what everyone else has and start to think that you're doing something wrong or that life isn't as fortunate for you. I wouldn't say Thanksgiving particularly, but just today is a good way to just sit back and reflect on what we actually do have um, and really focus on the importance of that. I mean, that's precisely why I started doing minimalism in the first place. Uh, is to get back to what's really important in life and stop focusing so much on material things. What's up, fellas? Excuse me, branches. Going right out. My journey last year and maybe even a year ago was really slimming down everything I own, everything that got in the way. And Nowhere near perfect, but it really brought into perspective what I really needed in life and what was valuable. And I think we should really reflect on that on Thanksgiving of what's, what do we have, what's valuable, and appreciate that. You know, we always like lived in the ghetto. We always were, you know, had, we had enough, but when you, look at all the marketing that was pretty much pushed to us as kids and you look at like everything that we didn't have uh, it really put that mentality in me that I need to get all these things and I need to be rich so that I can be happy and as like today's society is really recognizing I think this is really becoming more and more welcomed is that the more things that you have does not equal happiness the more money that you have to an extent does not equal happiness um i can tell you right now i have everything i need and probably really truly want right now um but if i'm not able to find like happiness in the people around me and happiness in what i do nothing is really going to translate to that. No material things is going to translate to that. Um, and it's funny that, <laughs> it's funny that like Thanksgiving is today, but tomorrow is Black Friday where everyone rushes out to like grab the newest and greatest and, and latest. I've always been broke on Black Friday, honestly. So it hasn't been like a big thing to like, man, I mean, I've always like wanted to do Black Friday. I've always wanted to like go out and buy the latest and greatest and see what deal I'm missing. But the reality is just like over the past year of like buying things and doing whatever, it 
I probably don't need it. I think the biggest thing that I can give um, is attention to my kids, giving them a way to express themselves. Um, I never really was like a big super believer on like buying a lot of toys and whatever. Uh, but Laura, like last Christmas, even though they had like good toys and whatever, like it was so cool to see my kids really interact with all new toys and learn from it. So um, even though it's like kind of opposite of like minimalism and opposite of like um, just getting what you you need like your kids also have needs and, and I don't, I'm not saying go out and like splurge and buy every single thing but uh, just the happiness that lights up on their face when they're able to interact and able to do something with something new is it's pretty priceless so <laughs> that's probably what this Black Friday will be about for me versus like buying more shit for myself that I already have just finding something that my kids will enjoy, which right now is Paw Patrol and Rescue Bots all day long. I'm super thankful to have a wife that puts up with my crazy, like going from like completely minimalistic to like, I need all this to back and forth with it. Uh, Cause it's a lot, it, it drives me crazy sometimes too. And I think there's just a really a happy balance to it that, I think minimalists need to recognize and then also just people that think minimalism is crazy like get what you need and what makes you happy and what you know pushes your passions forward but recognize when like you're just buying into consumerism or buying something because like you're the next influencer has it. Um, don't be afraid to buy an excessive amount of things for your kids, whether that's toys or whatever. Um, most likely they're not going to last and that's why it's kind of like weird and hard. Like, ah, oh, why am I buying all this stupid stuff? But they're gonna remember those memories, they're gonna have those memories and they'll enjoy it and they'll be thankful for that. I'm super thankful for Anyone that watches and that cares, that comments, that lets me know um, what they really enjoyed about my films and, and lets me know like how it's helping or affecting or, you know, their lives. That's, even though it's free, even though it's so small, I'm so thankful for that. And it keeps on giving me the drive, keeps on giving me the push to continue to put out um, content that matters and not just like whatever content, things that matter in my life and hopefully reflect into your life. So I really encourage you to just think about what's important in your life, what you already have. Uh, not what you're gonna get Black Friday, not what you're gonna get for Christmas. How can you take what you already have and just like use it more? Uh, how can you appreciate the people in your life more? Sometimes, sometimes it takes a little push to get back to wherever you were, you were with that person. Um, and I think that that's where I'm at right now. I'm thankful for the people that actually matter and actually care in my life. I'm thankful for my kids and their happiness. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for the gear and the little tools that I can use to um, make these films that one day my kids or whoever else will you know watch and see and see understand what life was really like for me, understand my thoughts, my processes and hopefully you as well. Hopefully you're thankful for the content that I put out and it's mutual. So I guess to really wrap this up, um, 
I'm super thankful for the platform and the tools that we have today that allow us to really just freely express ourselves without like, I mean, there's still definitely judgment, there's still plenty of that, but comparatively, we live in a world that's a little bit more accepting than it was 10 years ago, and hopefully, in another 10 years, it'll be even more accepting of our demographics, our age, our, you know, ethnicity, our employment, all that stuff. When it comes down to it, just live the best life you can with the means that you have and enjoy that. I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from this year is just authenticity and being myself and realizing that people love me for me and I'm super thankful for that. So thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get home, get ready for proper Thanksgiving tomorrow and I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, I got like a super mini board. This thing does not hill in comparison to the lift board, but good for, you know, when you need another friend to lift for you. You'll find a different side of me The one I'd like to be a different side of me, yeah